Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I welcome to all dear students. I am Dr. Muhammad Hashim, working as co-teacher, assistant professor of botany, Department of Botany, University of Education, Lahore, Bibi Khan Campus. I am teaching plant biochemistry course first, Bot C118. Students, we will discuss today lecture number 29. Enzyme with multiple functions, mechanisms, and evolution. Enzymes. Enzymes are substances that act as a catalyst in living organisms, regulating the rate at which chemical reactions proceed without its help being altered in the process. The biological processes that occur within all living organisms are regulated by enzymes. Among all plants and animals, species, over 5000 chemical reactions are catalyzed by enzymes. Enzymes are nature's sustainable catalysts. They are biocompatible, biodegradable, and are derived from renewable resources. Enzymes constitute a large biological globular protein molecule responsible for thousands of metabolic processes that sustain life and functions as a catalyst to facilitate specific chemical reactions within the cell. Student, these reactions are essential for the life of organisms. Enzymes are capable of increasing the rate of chemical reaction by up to factors of 1000. Enzymes facilitate life processes in essential all life forms from versus to man. Enzymes have been naturally organized to perform under different physiological conditions. Most enzymes are composed of hundreds or thousands of amino acid residues. However, only a small region of enzymes may contact with the substrate. The part of enzymes that may contact with substrate is called as active site. Enzymes enable the reactions to take place more rapidly at safer, relatively low temperature that is consistent with living system. Enzymes have been naturally organized to perform under different physiological conditions. Mechanism of enzyme action and enzyme attack substrate to its active site catalyze the chemical reaction by which products are formed and then allow the products to separate from enzyme surface. The combination formed by enzyme and its substrate is called as enzyme substrate complex. When two substrate and one enzyme are involved, the complex is called as ternary complex. When one substrate, one enzyme are called as a binary complex, the substrates are attracted to a active side by electrostatic and hydrophobic forces which are called non-covalent bonds because they are physical attraction and not chemical bonds. In this example given below, two substrates reacts to form one product. However, this model will allow apply to other cases such as one substrate compound forming two products or two substrate compound forming two products. The reaction is completed in three steps. In step one, substrate bind to the enzyme active site. In step two, catalyst reactions occur, substrates are converted to the products. In step three, product is released from the enzyme. And in step 4, the enzyme of hurry to be used again. Students, here we discuss some enzymes and their function. 
First of all, we discuss the enzyme which is oxidoreductase. The function of oxidoreductase is oxidation reduction reaction. The second enzyme is transferase, and the function of transferase is group transfer. Third one is hydrolase, and the function of hydrolase is hydrolysis reaction, transfer of functional group to the water. Fourth one is lyase, and the function of lyase is addition or removal of group to the form double bond. And the fifth one is isomerase. The function of isomerase is isomerization, intermolecular group transfer. And last one is the ligase, joining of two molecules. And enzyme play important role in all the biochemical reactions which are occurring in the cell. In term of enzyme functions. We first of all discuss most important function, which is the signal transduction. Enzymes are competent of participating in signal transduction. A chemical or physical signal is transmitted through a cell as a series of molecular events, and a cellular response ultimately appears. Students, the most common enzymes in signal transductions are protein kinases that catalyze protein phosphorylation. Another function of the enzyme in the cell is macromolecule degradation. Large molecules can be broken down by the enzyme into small fragments. Which can then be absorbed by human body easily. Many nutritional ingredients are in the form of large molecules such as sugar, protein, and fat, which cannot be taken easily by the human body. These ingredients are broken down by enzyme into smaller pieces before absorption, and this process is called as catabolism. Many enzymes need to be employed in catabolism and anabolism, such as amylase and protease. Enzymes also perform the function for energy generation. Enzymes can generate energy for living organisms, adenosine triphosphate. Also known as ATP, is the main storage form of chemical energy. ATP is a charged battery that can release energy that power biological activities. Enzymes are transformers to turn energy into proper chemical form and store it in ATP molecules. Most of these enzymes are called ATP synthases. Another important function of enzyme is ion pumps. Some enzyme in the cell membrane acts as ion pumps to move ions across plasma membrane. Against their concentration gradient, involved in active transport mechanisms. These primary ions transporters could convert energy. From various sources, including ATP, sunlight, and other redox reactions, to potential energy stored in an electrochemical gradient. Defense and clearance in plants. Some enzymes also take part in defense mechanism against pathogenic effect. Cell regulation. Enzymes can move parts of cells, internal structures, and reorganize them to regulate cell activities. Common enzymes involved in these movements mentioned above are myosin ATPase, kinesin ATPase, and dynein ATPase. Other function of enzymes, in addition, enzymes are also able. 
to generate movement with myosin hydrolyzing ATP to generate muscle contraction and transportation. Intercellular substances around the cell as a part of the cytoskeleton. Enzymes are important players in many other functions including immune response and aging processes. Luciferase is the major reason for glowing of fireflies and enzymes in virus are involved in infecting cells or the release of virus particles from host cells. Now we discuss scope of enzyme. Uh, role of enzyme in food chemistry. Enzymes are being used in production of alcohol, carbohydrates, organic acids, baked products, chocolate, sugar products. Second one, chemistry of cosmetics, cosmetics ingredients such as glycerol, glucose, fructose, cholesterol, dextrose, citrate, ethanol for preparation of skin cream or face lotion enzymes are used. Third one is the botany and agriculture chemistry. Enzymatic methods are becoming more and more application oriented in the investigation of physiology of plant metabolism, parasitic and non-parasitic plant diseases and for evaluation of quality of plant products with respect to their suitability for storage and technological processes. Role of enzyme in pharmacology, enzymatic methods are being used increasingly in biochemical pharmacology. The last one, clinical chemistry for whole human medicines, enzymology and hence enzymatic analysis have become so important as diagnostic aid and also in monitoring of diseases during treatment that this activity is now a lot especially by its help. Now we discuss about evolution of enzymes. The existence of enzymes has been known for well over a century. Biological catalysis was first recognized and described in early 18s. In studies of the digestion of meat, basification of the stomach and conversion of starch into sugar by saliva and various plant extracts in 1860, Lyle's recognized that enzymes were essential to fermentation but it assumed that their catalytic action was indivisibly linked with the structure and life of the yeast cell. In 1876, William proposed that name enzyme be used as a new term to denote phenomena previously known as unorganized ferments that is ferments isolated from the vegetal organism in which this was formed. The word itself means in yeast and is derived from Greek E and in meaning in and zyme meaning yeast or leaven. This important achievement was first indication that enzymes could function independently of the cell. It was not until 1926, however, the first enzyme was obtained in pure form. A feat accomplished by the American biochemist. Sumner was the able to isolate, crystallize, crystallize the enzyme urease from the jet feed. 